The Alabama a and Bulldogs have had some really great teams over the years since 1974 as tonight marked the end of an era. The final game at historic Elmore Gymnasium, Alabama a and versus Samford tonight. The Bulldogs looking for their first win of the year against an undefeated Samford team. And they were cooking from the opening tip. Logan died with the post move and finger roll finish to widen Samford's lead here. And they weren't just shooting well. They were cleaning up the boards as well, getting second effort points. Quest Glover with the stop and pop as Sanford found the bottom of the net yet again. Of course, a and fought hard. Dalen Smith shrugs off the contact here to get the bonus shot to go this time. But Sanford in the end takes it 84-64 to to move A&M to 0-3 on the season. Just a bit earlier, the women took their turn against Sanford in a battle of winless squads, but only one could stay that way. Bulldogs guard... Andrea Cornoyer with the problem all night for a and putting up 37 points for Samford, but Alabama a and fought hard, moving the ball well to get some tough points like that basket from Tony Grace, who led a and with 24 points. The Bulldogs also turned mistakes into buckets. Amani free with the steal and score this time, but in the end of the day, it's Samford that was just too much for a and They win their first game of the season, 75-68, to and close the doors on Elmore with a loss. They're back in action in North Alabama on Tuesday. 1974, that was the year that Elmore Gymnasium opened its doors, hosting 48 seasons of Alabama a and basketball to mark, mark the end of its service on the Hill. The Bulldogs' next game against Louisiana Tech next Wednesday will take place at the brand new Event Center. But no one will ever forget the memories that took place at Elmore. We're gonna miss this place. I mean, look at it. The, the, cap, the crowd was awesome. I'm sorry that we weren't able to, you know, come out on top, but it, it's gonna be unbelievable. You know, um, you know, transitioning over again. I wish we could have won for him tonight, but I thought the girls fall hard, and Sanford just did a great job. 